Okay, here we'll look at another example where we solve a first order linear differential equation. So, just as a reminder, in a previous video we derived the general solution for a first order linear differential equation. So if we have y prime plus a times y equals b, we'll get y equals one over this new function alpha times the quantity, the antiderivative of alpha times b plus a constant c, where alpha of x is the exponential of our original function a. So, and we need our original differential equation to be exactly in that form in order to apply this formula. So, as you can see, it's not quite exactly in that form. We have this 1 plus x squared function as a coefficient of uh, y prime. So, what we'll do is multiply the entire differential equation by 1 over 1 plus x squared. So, the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So, that will leave us with y prime plus x over 1 plus x squared y equals the square root of 1 plus x squared over, and now I'm going to write 1 plus x squared carefully. I'm going to write it as the square root of 1 plus x squared squared, which allows us to simplify this to 1 over the square root of 1 plus x squared. Okay, good. So now we can see that playing the role of the function a, is x over 1 plus x squared, and playing the role of the function b is 1 over the square root of 1 plus x squared. So now, our next goal is to calculate this integrating, uh, this integrating factor alpha, and then we can go ahead and solve the differential equation. So if we have alpha of x is equal to the exponential of the antiderivative of x over the square root of 1 plus x squared dx. So this antiderivative x over the square root of 1 plus, sorry, not the square root of 1 plus x squared, just over 1 plus x squared. So this antiderivative is a fairly simple u substitution. So I have a few videos on the channel about uh, simple u substitution, so I'd say check those out if you need uh, guidance there. So this is the exponential of 1 half natural log of 1 plus x squared. Okay, good. Now that's not quite simplifiable yet, but if we apply a natural log rule, and the one I'm talking about is where we take the coefficient of a log and put it in the exponent, then we can simplify it. So this is equivalent to e to the natural log of 1 plus x squared to the half power, which equals 1 plus x squared to the half, or the square root of 1 plus x squared. So this is our final function alpha, which we can use to solve this differential equation in its entirety. Okay, so let's see what we get. So now we'll have y equals 1 over alpha, so that'll be 1 over the square root of 1 plus x squared times the quantity, the antiderivative of the square root of 1 plus x squared times the square root of 1 plus x squared dx plus a constant of integration. Oh, sorry, I should have, this is over the square root of 1 plus x squared. Great, so even simpler. So that gives us 1 over the square root of 1 plus x squared times the quantity, the antiderivative dx plus a constant. So the antiderivative of 1 is just x, so that's going to give us the following. This is x over the square root of 1 plus x squared plus a constant over the square root of 1 plus x squared. And that will be our final answer.